Oh, hello, hello, everyone. My name is Brandon, and I host CYT Gaming. Today, I have an interesting story about California State Senator Leland Yi. He's been on a roll in California trying to legislate video game restrictions since 2005. In light of the recent Sandy Hook shooting, he was interviewed about the future of video game restrictions, and he stated, quote, Gamers have just got to quiet down. Gamers have no credibility in this argument. This is all about their lust for violence and the industry's lust for money. This is a billion dollar industry. This is about their self-interest. Now, to be fair to him, I feel like this article wasn't written in a way that put his quote into context, but let's just take this direct quote as his line of thinking. Video games are causing problems related to violent crime, and the center is trying to ban, quote, ultra-violent video games. By the way, ultra-violent video games, that's a code word for anything judged as violent. The video game postal, Wikipedia, that if you don't remember it, that's considered violent by a lot of gamers. But to the old legislators, something like Devil May Cry, that's considered over the top. We gotta ban Devil May Cry. It makes no sense to the gamer, if you understand what I'm saying. And the reason why I single out old, outdated politicians for their line of thinking is because the same politician, Leland Lee, in 2009 said, quote, Unlike books, movies, and CDs, video games can contain up to 800 hours of footage with the most atrocious content often reserved for the highest levels that can only be accessed by advanced players after hours of progressive mastery. You see, this is the type of thought process that sounds absurd to you and I, but it's believed by politicians because they're outdated. They don't play video games. The statement is ridiculous and makes no sense as someone who's played thousands of video games. And before I jump to attack a state senator, he is against assault rifles in California, so he is consistent to a degree, but I just believe that his selective prosecution of video games is wrong. Let's remember something here. Leland Yee is a state senator, and he served under the time of Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger, famous for movies like The Terminator, Conan, Predator, a bunch of other movies. And I'm pretty sure if you look into it, you'll find some violence in the former governor's movies. Now let's go one step further. Lee Lan Yee is a state senator from California. What's California known for? The movie industry. If anything, the biggest advocate for violence is the movie industry. Everyone talks about the cowboy days of John Wayne and Clint Eastwood. Guns are made cool by the movie industry. Now let's go back to his original statement to make a point here. Here it is normally. Games have just got to quiet down, etc. Now let's take the word gamers and replace it with California movie makers. California movie makers have just got to quiet down. California movie makers have no credibility in this argument. This is all about their lust for violence and the industry's lust for money. This is a billion dollar industry and this is about their self-interest. Do you see how easily I slipped that in? The same statement works perfectly and shows you how Senator Lee Lan Yee's attack on gaming is arbitrary. If you follow the same line of thinking, Hollywood is also responsible for the same violence, but that's not Leland and Yee's concern, and no one in Washington is going to open up that debate. They go for the easy target, they go for the target they don't understand, and that's video games. That's the story for the day. Drop a comment, tell me what you think about the story below. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye!